Decalation is a raid-wide AoE. For the first Blood Rake sequence, the boss will cast a series of moves. The most important are the two Blood Rakes and the last cast called Inverse Clamus. The Blood Rakes will cause damage and determine which debuffs the players cannot have for Inverse Clamus. Blood Rake will be cast on either all DPS or all tanks and healers. Blood Rake can also be cast on the same group of players both times. The first Blood Rake will indicate which players should not have the Orange Tether during Inverse Clamus. In this case, tanks and healers were marked, so DPS will need to get the orange tethers later. The second blood rake will indicate which player should not have the green roll call debuff during inverse climates. This time, the DPS were marked, so the tanks and healers will need the green roll call debuff. Have the correct players take or give the right debuffs before the cast of inverse climates ends. Be careful with roll call as it cannot be passed back immediately. Also note, the orange tether will explode with a moderately sized AoE. Elegant Evisceration is a cleaving two-hit tank buster that requires either a tank swap or invuln. Hesperus will cast Setting the Scene and divide the arena into four elemental quadrants. He will trigger each element once. Note that the circular wells cause damage over time. Pinax will be a random combination of elements in sets of two. The first mechanic will be either the blue lightning, which is a proximity-based damage from the center of the arena, or the white water, which is a knockback from the center of the arena. The second mechanic will happen immediately and will be either the red lava, which requires two separate healer group stack ups, or the green poison, which is a spread. After the first set of mechanics, Hesperos will return to the middle and cast a directional shift north, south, east, or west that indicates the direction he will jump toward. This additional directional shift will happen between the two remaining elements that have not yet occurred. Esperos will also have a follow-up mechanic stemming from himself, which will either be a conal AoE, signified by his glowing sword, or knockback, which is signified by his glowing cape. The third mechanic will be the remaining proximity or knockback element. Move toward the appropriate directional shift, dodge the conal or knockback from Hesperos, and finally, the last element of either stack or spread will resolve shortly thereafter. It's important to remember that players will be unable to stand in the element that is currently being resolved. Hesperos will target three out of the four elements. The three elements will explode during the final cast of the sequence called Periactor. There will only be one element safe to stand in at the end. This time, Hesperos will cast Vengeful Balone, which gives players different acting role debuffs. Two DPS will get two acting healer debuffs, two DPS will get two acting tank debuffs, and the tanks and healers will get the four acting DPS debuffs. Hesperos will cast a Blood Rake dealing raid-wide damage followed by Balone Bursts which forms eight orbs around the arena. Two players are needed to share the damage from one orb, and each pair will blow up two orbs. The orbs will dispel the acting roll debuff when the correct orb is intercepted. The tanks and healers will have to explode the green orbs tethered to the DPS. The DPS will have to explode the correct tank or healer orb. After all the orbs are resolved, stand in the safe element as a raid-wide AoE will end the sequence of mechanics. Hesperos will again cast a series of mechanics with the most important being the two Blood Rakes and Inverse Clamors. This Blood Rake sequence is exactly like the first one except for a few small differences. Hesperos will now use two sets of four towers to signify which mechanic players cannot have during Inverse Clamus. The other slight difference is there will be an additional set of orange tethers with the first set of towers. The towers will need to be soaked by a player that does not match with the icon in the tower. Like the first Blood Rake sequence, the first set of towers is an indicator for the orange tethers, and the second set of towers is for Roll Call. Make sure the correct players take or give the right debuffs before the cast of Inverse Clamus ends. Thanks for watching!